Hi, my name is Jodie Johnson from Tonic Studios and I'd like to introduce you to the beautiful curved edged boxes. Now you've got two sizes, you've got the large one and you've got the small one. This is like me and Karen. This is me, nice and tall, and this is Alison and Karen, a little bit small, sit on chairs like that, so we're both level. You have got those lovely size boxes there. Really easy to put together, guys, okay? It's a very simple two-cut box, but you've got all those gorgeous panels inside there to decorate, whether you are using the beautiful floral ones, whether you're bringing in a tad of paper piecing, or maybe you're just using your patterned papers. You know, it's entirely up to you how you want to build these together. Really, really pretty. But as I say, they're easy to make, so let's go ahead and do a very quick make. So let's just move all those out of the way. We're gonna make the little small box. You can see that we've got them both cut out. You do need two cuts. We're going to bring its friend in and we're gonna place one over the top of the other. You're gonna bring the other side in as well literally bringing one over the top of the other. So I'll just get it between my thumb and football finger there. And I'm just gonna place it down there. So you can see how that's joined together. It would go absolutely perfectly flat if you want it to, okay? But now we're just gonna fold our sides in, take our tape off of the sides when it wants to play ball, there we go through to the other side, take that one off. Now I like to fold one side at a time so that I know that I've got everything let level, okay? So I'm gonna bring my side in there and I'm gonna level it up onto there because I've got control with my thumb over the top. I'm gonna turn it round and do the same on the other side and then take my tape off of that bottom there. We're going to fold that one in as well, making sure that that's nice and level. And then all you're going to do is bend all those little sides out like so. And then you're just going to tie all those together at the top. And you can see you've got those amazing panels all the way around there. As I say, whether you are using your plain paper or whether you're using the decorative dies that actually come in the collection, you can make a really good size box in, in there. Really, really pretty alongside all the little sentiments that come with it. So for instance, you've got thank you in there. You've got with love in that collection. You know, all those little hanging sentiments are on there really make that little inexpensive gift that little bit more special with these beautiful curved edge boxes. Make sure you share your inspiration over on our Instagram pages.